in this brief little video, what we're going to do is we're going to compare a 2014-15-ish and probably a 2004-ish Hilleberg Namage GT. So mine is a 3 GT and my friend's is an old 2 GT that I think he got off eBay or something like that so let's just have a look at a few things so first we're just looking at the front we got the lines we got the covers there inner outer strapping down here you've got the same design there the same over the same front everything pretty much on face value that is the same we'll come to a few differences in a minute oh obviously this one you've got this leather patch down here which i believe i heard please correct me this was pre-2004 because that's maybe when that was discontinued if we look at the sides this is this type of woven type of material here and in these it's like a soft type of material so that's one difference there's probably loads we're, we're probably going to miss a loads of differences but that's obviously one the cords on here seem to be thicker these are maybe three millimeter cords and interestingly, the poles on these are the 10 millimeter poles. These lines are the two or, I don't know if this is two or two and a half, but these lines are thinner. So there's thinner lines on them. And even more interestingly, this is the nine millimeter poles. So question to viewers, was this still presumably obviously a four season season shelter back in the day but was it with nine millimeter poles and thinner lines and then they upgraded the poles and the lines so please comment below the tightening up system is the same you've got the same pulley uppy thing here the same sort of shoe system down there you've got the same strap thing here for pegging to the ground if you so desire that hasn't really changed the venting system on them i think is pretty much exactly the same the back you've got the same four pegging system here obviously this is a 2gt rather than three so it's smaller but the same four pegs at the back really the biggest difference apart from the poles being thinner and the lines being thinner is the door this is a roll-up door so basically one zip there one zip there no storm flat the, the the mesh is fixed yeah so the mesh is fixed inside so you can't take it off which you can on the newer ones and then obviously you've got a zip down like that so they've the probably the biggest difference the biggest change is that door because that's obviously now when you undo the door you could get in there you could get in there easily without having to undo both but once you've undone both then what i quite like with that one once you kind of undone it you can kind of chuck the door there out the way even if you don't um secure it which i usually do to be fair but obviously with this one now you've got this so that needs securing so i'll do that and then we'll have a look the inside that hasn't really 
changed. Oh, hang on. Yeah, no, that hasn't changed. You've got the same, the same two system here, mesh. Yeah, so the door hasn't, fundamentally the door hasn't changed. You've got two loops there. The inner is the same. It's obviously just a little bit smaller, but you've got the same pocket each side. You've got the same V-shaped or uh, triangle-shaped mesh at the back. The same thing there. And then this hasn't changed at all. You know, if you were looking at this, you wouldn't know what you were looking at. This could be a new Namage. Two, two, three GT, four GT, only size difference. You know, you've got the inner and then the mesh outer. Now it doesn't really seem to have changed. Just the door is obviously completely different. So with the door. Are you coming out, little Lizzie? Come on. Are you going to stay? No, you're still there, Lizzie. Yeah, so the door, the door design has obviously changed. Plus now you've got a, an elasticated storm flap over it. So uh, old users of the old one without the storm flap, um, much water getting in? Probably not to be fair. And if it did, it's outside, you know, it's in the porch area, so it wouldn't really got to you anyway it would have just got on the grass or anything of course if you had a footprint then you're going to get a wet footprint but that's why there's another reason not to bother with a footprint and you can't get it wet but that's obviously your door and then the mesh in uh, and with this one of course the mesh in uh, you know you can zip it out completely and when you unzip it if you want to you can just put the door like I said you know you can kind of just chuck it back there and not even bother securing it if you don't want to and it's it's out the way this one kind of comes up to about there how far up does it's probably about the same isn't it it just seems i think because this drops back i don't know it just it's, maybe it's my imagination but it seems like the doorway there is bigger it's just you know it's the appearance i think mainly because i think these bits of you know like they like drop back so i think it's a perception more than anything else let's have a another look over here yeah, there probably isn't much in it really, but it just seems a little bit bigger, but I really don't think bar a, an inch here or there, there's anything in it. I think with the storm flap there, it just gives it the appearance of being a slightly smaller doorway. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this fairly brief differential between newer and older Hilleberg Namaz GTs. Thanks very much for watching.